Are you a South African musician trying to figure out how to get your music on Spotify, Apple Music, etc. using CD Baby? Welcome to this episode where I plan on demystifying just that. Cue the intro. What's up, it's your boy Skill from SkillMusicSA.com and welcome to my channel where I share information with my fellow South African musicians to help them improve on their music business. If this sounds interesting to you, please do consider subscribing. In this video, I plan on showing you step by step on how to upload and get your music onto CD Baby in order to get your music onto iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify, etc. Now, I have done a video before explaining how to go about deciding which distributor to use. As some of you know, I do use another distributor in order to get my music out. But for my next release, which is on the 14th of August, the title of it is Jumped on a Plane and Wrote This EP 2, I decided to use CD Baby. The reason in particular I chose CD Baby for this next release is that because CD Baby has a non-exclusive music library and I figured that I might as well get my music onto that way of making money from my music and I figured why not try something new. So one last thing I would like to add is that this video is not a sponsored video. This is 100% my own video. So everything is not influenced by any external forces. I just did research and decided that CD Baby will be a good fit for what I'm trying to achieve with this current release. Now, without further ado, I'm gonna head to my PC and show you step-by-step step how to go about getting your music onto Spotify, iTunes using CD Baby. What's up? So you basically navigate to CD Baby, the login page. Let me actually show you how to do that. CD Baby. I just Google CD Baby. Oh, sorry about that. And then when it pops up on Google, you'll see the option to just log in. Now, there's several reasons why I'm using CD Baby for this release. Um, as some of you may know, got it. I use another distributor, but I just opted for this one. This is not a, um, I didn't get paid to do this. I'm just doing it because there's some functionality that I want to try out with CD Baby. So when you're signing up as a new artist, then you click on join now. I'm just going to show you how that looks. And then they basically show you the step-by-step -step process. You just fill this all out, continue save, and then you'll get an email and then you verify the account. So I'm not going to show you that process because that's the same more or less with every other platform that you use to register you know so i'm just gonna log in and then once you logged in this is basically the dashboard so this is my first time using cd baby as well so account dashboard so you're just gonna click on verify one step verification so verify your email address and then you go to emails once you get the email you click on the verification and then it says email verification complete so then you can go to your cd baby account and then once you're in here, um, there's several things that you could do. You check what's currently you have. You see you have nothing there. You can check your sales report, nothing there. As I told you before, tools and promotions. So this is actually part of the main reason why I'm using CD Baby in particular. I wanna try out um, their show.co platform and custom CD packages. That is something that I really want to try out and custom vinyl. I'm not going to be doing vinyl for this release, but um, it's something I want to try out because I do have a few people internationally that I do work with. Okay, um, sorry, people that listen to my music internationally. So it actually made sense for me to try it out. And I think I should be able to cover the costs pretty quickly for one release. So let's go back to the dashboard okay so you're gonna click on add title to add a new song and since this is for my upcoming um ep which is called jumped on the plane and wrote this ep number two do the right thing and pre-save um so i'm gonna say release an album and once it's in there you get two options okay there's the pro publishing and then um, there's the standard the reason you'd want to do this is for publishing royalty collection mechanical royalty collection song registration and pro rights affiliation okay so basically this is the samro capasso and sampra type of work if you do not want to do this yourself um, then you go for the pro publishing choice if you want to go the standard option i'm going for the standard option because i typically do this and i use um another service to sort me out with the pro i've already paid for that so i don't need um cd baby to be doing it as well 
And another reason why I'm thinking of using CD Baby is this um, non-exclusive sync licensing for TV and film and more. So this gives me another opportunity to make money off of my release. Um, and since it's non-exclusive, I can also put it on other sites where I have been using to get some form of revenue streams trickling in. I'm not really big on it yet in terms of non-exclusive um, sync licensing. But anyway, so worldwide distribution. So that's what I'm going to choose. So it's $29 as it says. Okay, so now is this a compilation album? What's a compilation album? Basically, no, because I'm a single artist. The main language is primarily in english but if you have another language like there is a track where actually um the full track is in this course but i'm just going to keep it as english for the most part my artist name is skill music s a um and it depends how many artists are working on this album which is a nice functionality with cd baby too i think because i don't think you can do this with the other distributor i use so i'm just going to click on negative um let me just remove that um anyway so the title is jumped on a plane and and wrote this ep okay that's the name of oh, number two so this is I actually this is my second project in like the last four years. I don't release them often enough. Um, the release date I'm targeting the 13th of August. So I've given it a full month run up, which should be more or less OK. If, if you leave this empty, we'll fill in the artist name. So for record label, I'm going to leave this empty because they're going to use my artist name anyway. So let me keep it like that. And then um, copyright owner this is your ID name so I want them to put my ID name because it'll link up with my Samra stuff so let's carry on and then now it says how do you want to sell your music so of course I want to go digitally downloads and streams but I also want to add this physical part um, but I'm only going to focus on CD okay um, there's certain things that you have to sort out with CD manufacturing. So check out customization options for C for options and pricing for CD. So let me just go into there because I've never actually seen it. Um, uh, okay, so this is what it goes through jewel cases. CD wallets. My first project, I actually did CD wallets. I, I did them all myself manually and it was painful. So I don't want to do that again. 304 CD jackets, CD wallet. Um, let's actually see what the 300 CD jackets. No thanks. I want no to a CD. And then you see the pricing. So if you look at the pricing, that's kind of steep for my budget. So I'm actually not going to do it for now. Anyway, you can add it later, but I actually just wanted to see the pricing of this would be delivered to me directly but anyway it's totally out of my budget so i'm not going to do it but i just wanted to show you that it is an option that you can have custom usb cds and other options to sell which is really good if you are if you're working on this if you're working within the united states or within europe um, let me actually see if they ship to south africa yeah uh, they do ship to South Africa. Let me see. Not available with this election. Okay, so they don't ship to South Africa. Um, let me see if they ship to... Of course, they probably do ship to Ireland. There's no way they don't ship to Ireland. Yeah, they do. Okay, anyway. Let me close that. <clears throat> I'm going to leave the physical uh, distribution program for now because I do not see the barcode. So the UPC, this is nice if you have one. But if you do not have one, I'd like to sign me. I'd like you to sign me a barcode for twenty dollars. So this adds another twenty dollars to initial one. So now we're sitting at forty nine dollars. Um, because as soon as you've paid, we'll assign the UPC code to you. So I'm gonna let them assign the UPC because I do not have a UPC. Um, what is nice, you could actually try find a place where you can get one. But I'm gonna let CD Baby sort that out. So I'm sitting on forty nine dollars. That's how much it's costing me right now. Um, save and continue number of discs volume it's just one 
so this is the number of disks and volumes so this is one cd one project so there's only going to be one disk so one volume click on next track count per volume so how many tracks are in this project so it's five tracks click on next and now you have to put in the song titles so the song titles it's best to have a spreadsheet that you have on the side with all of the data that you need um so here's the song titles i'm going to keep them there on the side wonder can you guys see this uh probably should use another color hey um let me just zoom in there a little let's zoom in there i'll make everything dark so my eyes don't die okay so the first track we'll set we'll set dublin this is the quite track the next one is i like chicken i like chicken two um the third one's on this plane the uh, fourth one is people smile and the last one is my lead single not coming home Okay, those are the five tracks. Let me just shift this over a little. Uh, save and continue. As you can see, if you carry on going forward, it's going down on this thing. So what you wanna do is go click there again if you want to edit something. So I see Lord said Dublin is not how I want it. I actually want it like this, but it won't allow me. So you might have to, see, uh, this is gonna be tricky now. Use Dublin. <laughs> People are gonna read this wrong. Now I'm gonna have to, I might have to retitle this just eat Dublin uh, let me see now nah, let me keep it as we said Dublin but they're just gonna make it small we said Dublin <laughs> I don't know if that looks right Dublin. yeah but anyway that's not so it's gonna make it one word unfortunately you can't i can't split it up because it'll it won't say the same thing but we'll say dublin yeah let me leave it like that for now it looks so strange okay so you click on save and continue okay so now here's the track menu so now you click on each one and you start populating the information so action i'm gonna click on start I'm actually doing it on the fly. It's my first time doing it. Parental advisory? No. So is this got swear words? No, it doesn't. Language of the lyrics. This one is actually in this clause. Live version? No, this is not a live version. Composition. So what kind of song is it? Most people are going to be making your original composition. Okay. Uh, let me just, because it is an original composer. Okay, and now they want the songwriter information. So let me add some songwriter information. There's a new songwriter. And I am the songwriter. Do you want CD Baby to collect pub publishing royalties for the songwriter, CD Baby Pro? No, don't collect for me. Okay, I'm the only one. So it does I contribute to this track? I make music and I've got part of the lyrics. Does I have a publisher for it? But no, I do not have a publisher. Apply this information to all tracks as this will. Okay, so this is basically the same information I'll have for all the tracks. So I'm gonna click on apply on all this, save and return to track menu. Okay, now let me, if you see in the status, everything is okay. So now you just want to double check that everything is correct for the other songs. Okay, no, no. I try avoid um, uh, explicit lyrics because it's a problem down the line. So the language is in English. 
it's a live version no it's not why didn't it copy over the original composition and then you repeat original composition and then it's copied the last bit then you go to the next track so you do this for each track um parental advisory no no english on this plane original composition and since you made the project you should more or less know this information already angakura yes that's me sound lyrics on this plane no next track Now, if you have other composers, then you might add them in there. A lot of a thing that I actually do not like um, from people that don't make their own beats is that they tend to leave the producer out of the songwriter part, which is very bad. You should always put in the producer in there. Um, no English. No, it's not. It's not a live track. So this is the fourth one smile and the last one is my lead single i'm not coming home considering what's currently happening at home <laughs> it's actually an interesting song uh original composition yes and then songwriter we in we in then you click on save and return once you've done all the tracks save and return you see that all five the status of all five songs is correct um, you can view the summary let me just see how that looks it's actually intuitive like there's not much i have to do publisher is me songwriter is me artist is me primary artist yes clean 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 original composition so this is the summary which is very nice to see so save and go back and then let's go continue see now genres so this is the genres that you want to add in the album so the main genre is hip-hop slash rap sub-genre of i don't know what would i say this is um kind of comedy rap kind of a secondary genre you say hip-hop and then i'm just gonna put normal hip-hop british rap beat tape Ah, they add this information for their library. So you want to try keep this as correct as possible. So I do have some alternative hip hop in there. And the general mood and um, so the general mood, I would say is generally fun, not party, generally fun. Let's in a chicken. Yeah, it's generally a fun tape. I talk about chicken traveling and just living my best life except for one song but yeah this is the overall mood fun yeah that's fine okay and then the location this is a tricky one because this is where i'm actually at <laughs> why is island in capitals hey that's the main look loca artist location yes so famous artists you sound like oh my word famous artist i sound like uh I like singing. yeah um optional you don't actually have to have one there's nothing really experimental so it's more or less um let me put the baby in the one the baby unfortunately i sound like the baby in that one no holler at the baby i have no hate again it's him love is hustle just i don't like that on this plane and then yeah let me just put that's the only one that's a clear where i, I was listening to someone and inspired by him um not coming home yeah let me leave that actually sorry i shouldn't be leaving this so small yeah and let me zoom in slightly yeah much better okay famous artist number two i'm just gonna leave that they optional so you don't have to fill them in but it's kind of good to fill them in so the playlist can kind of stick you in with those guys uh, i do sound like tiger on on the one song um and then let me put mandoza as well because 
the problem with this tape it's st stylistically it's fairly broad but i'm more or less no you'd never hear tiger on a track like that and mandos is not even yeah r.i.p mandos um a famous artist i leave it tiger and the baby yeah that's all that's fine Okay, and this is the important part where you want to assign IRC. I need you to assign IRC codes. No, I do not. I have my own codes. So this is where you insert your own codes. Um, let me just uh, do something quick. Oops. Why is it looking at Dublin? Okay, and I already assigned my IRC codes. Fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Okay, and if you do not have an IRC, you just click on here. You get those from Risa. You can get CD Baby to assign them for you, but I just I like having my own system. Okay, so I just got this. It's a uh, gets you a hundred bucks once off to get the IRC codes. So I've got that and then save and continue. DD options, I'm not sure what that is. So you have an option for what you want, downloads and stream. There's actually a lot more um, that you actually have to put in, which I like. Um, you have all the options. There are free downloads, <laughs> downloads only. So. I'm not going to do even unpaid. I'm just going to click the downloads and streams. Yes, that sounds good because you want people to be able to download, but most people don't download anymore unless you explicitly ask them to. So streaming services, that's definitely what you want in. Um, and then you can click and unclick the places you do not want. I'm just going to let it all in there. I want everything. Is TikTok on yet? Yes. So the main ones that you want to check out for, you definitely want Amazon Music. You want iTunes. Deezer is another one I know they use at home. Andy here. Deezer. And then YouTube Music. This is one you definitely want. Spotify, of course. Tidal. Pandora is one that has been eluding me. But I also want Pandora. Okay, so then you say save and continue. Digital distribution, that's what DD is. Okay, partners ID, artist status. Some part of the last video, you need to hey, I'll group your title together on your artist page. Blah, blah, blah. Please create a new artist ID for me. Huh? So I've used another distributor before. So you, you oh, that looked weird. So I want to make sure that they link my distribution to my current artist. So this is definitely myself. So you click on the edit button on action and then you can select which one. I don't want them to create a new one. So I want them to use my Apple Music ID so it links with this artist. And then let me check here. To open the artist page as well but i'm pretty sure it's myself there's almost no chance anyone else is skill music essay see when you don't release often this is what happens to your monthly listen account <laughs> but anyway but the key to do i have to keep on submitting music releasing music so clicking on there make sure that they're linking it and then you click on save status is okay which is good um, then let's go continue. So do you want to pre-sale for iTunes? So of course I want there to be a pre-release, a pre-sale. If you have pre-sales council will be able to download your instant gratification right away. 
only if you have 11 or more tracks so i do not have 11 or more tracks unfortunately but yes i'm going to say yes i want them to be able to save the pre-release sale so the pre-release i want it to be is it weak enough i'm gonna give it two two weeks to get to distribution so i want to give it the sixth It takes a minimum of five days from the date of delivery for pre-sales to appear in iTunes. You will need to submit your other form. Just wait for it to be reviewed by inspector team before delivering when it starts. So yeah, I'm going to give them three weeks more. One, two, three weeks to go through their process. It's my first time using CD Baby to distribute, but I've distributed before so they don't have to create a new artist profile. So I think that should be enough for pre-sale. Um, let's save and continue extended tracks this is very interesting do you have any tracks that are 10 minutes or longer i do not have any tracks that are that long so if you have any tracks that are that long so i'm saying no um so you can choose where you want your music to be sold i want all countries um, there might be reasons why you don't want to sell in certain regions due to political or ethnic reasons. I'm not too sure why you do that, but all territories is generally what you want. So that's what I want. Same and continue. Okay. This is what I wanted to really see. Sync, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram licensing. So... You can go to the support and then you can read out exactly what happens here um licensing program and then they explain everything what i really wanted to find out is can opt for cd baby to be non-exclusive licensor of their songs so typically for songs that i release on itunes and spotify i try keep them non-exclusive because i don't know what i'll be doing um clear so this is something that i wanted make sure that it's not exclusive make sure i'm at least getting 50 percent, but i'm getting 60 percent, which is good um the no territory restrictions but this is something that if your song ever gets taken if you want to submit your song by some to some other publisher that you have to tell them that that you've already licensed it out um something that you will also want to check is how to opt out um but for, i'll never oh, let me never say never but i'll try my best not to release specifically this album and these tracks to a production library etc so you can choose the monetization monetization options on so youtube money revenue from your music on youtube i'm not going to do that Con this is basically content id i do not want to do content id um this is primarily because it just causes problems down the line if you also if like if you're syncing the music and then the customer uses that music on a video they're going to get a notification and start panicking or uh, and like this, the, the tracks already have lyrics on them you know so there's no way someone's gonna steal the beat per se so i'm not gonna add the youtube monetization for these purposes for now money sync money i'm gonna add that let's have all permissions and right yeah you must obviously you must have all the rights if you're working with a producer you'll have to talk to the producer beforehand if that's okay um let me actually see what it says yeah in order to work properly you must grant you the exclusive right to collect advertising and distribution on your behalf and you can opt out at any time so i'm not gonna do that i never do because i've got my own i've got my own youtube channel as most of you are probably watching on my channel so if i add the promotional the promotional content is what's going to cause issues with the youtube money so if you're part of youtube partner program don't worry about the monetization part i suggest earn revenue from your music on facebook and instagram most definitely yes all right you can opt out at any time so i'm going to leave this let them 
collect for this for now okay i agree to sync addendum this is something you actually want to read through i'm not going to do it now i will where's the sync addendum oh here it is oh cd baby sync distribution and between you and cd baby this is basically a sync contract So again, non-exclusive, exclusive content under the administration rights. Con So-called content ID controls, which kind of makes sense. I'll let them sort out the content ID. Default thresholds, if I minimum thresholds 10. So they basically pay you out whenever your songs get to that amount. Okay. Let me agree to the addendum. I've read it before. Let's save and continue. Good things come to those who wait. You can take up to this from delivery of your checks to be available on sync partner systems. Please note the changes cannot be made while the delivery is in process. Obviously, that makes sense. I've given them slightly, literally on the T. I gave them 30 days. So I agree. So now it's time for the uploading of the track art, art upload. So you basically want to make sure that it's 3000 by 3000. I've already got that. Make sure it's a, I'm going to be using a PNG file at 300 DPI. If you're going to get someone else to be doing your graphics, make sure that you send them these specs so that they make it. And then things to not add pornographic images unless you Kanye <laughs> pricing scanning of the CD yeah so make sure you got that so let me just show you my um, my artwork um, don't to play to artwork so uh, it's still in drafts probably so 3,000 by 3,000 I've also got a thousand and a thousand that is because that's what I use for Instagram. So here's my cover art. If you can see, there's no, I didn't even put my name on it because they don't need to know my name. Jumped on a plane and wrote this EP two. Simple graphic. Um, a suggestion is to always have a photo shoot before you go release. As you can see, this is when the cut was fresh. <laughs> but anyway, and then let me browse. Oh yeah, the reason I actually opened that was so I can drag and drop drag it and drop it in there the digital gnomes will delete your art files from the system from that point you will need to re-upload your artwork in order to complete your submission uh, Oh, it's kind of a big file, isn't it? Isn't it? it's only nine megabytes? Your art album art has been uploaded. Okay. Hey, for some reason, electricity uh, cut out, so I had to log back in. So I'm on the dashboard. And luckily it says as you go with CD Baby. So when you go to albums and singles, um, you can click on view and edit because it's an unpaid. And then you see it jumped on a plane and wrote the CP. Okay. And then it, it shows you everything that you need to know. Um, pay now, finish later. No, we're still busy here. And then it shows you the parts that still need to be done. So let's edit and add so you're back to this screen okay and now when you're on here it tells you either wave or flag um, so um, all five tracks have been uploaded I'm going to click on save and continue
optional pending delete so now it's just the service agreement that's left over to the distribution blah 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 I agree to the distribution okay you can read through all of this but okay agree signature so you just put in your name and surname as the signature save and then the last thing is to pay money so you have to add it to cart it's weird that they say it like this is the title also ready for the also really looks like you've completed all the information required for it, so I'm ready to distribute you. Be sure you've entered everything lately. Any future corrections could delay the distribution. So let me actually go through everything. So I request the UPC. It actually sucks that you have to pay for your own UPC though. Uh, call me your app alternative hip hop fun English majority. Yes, I'm an island UPC. School music is a just check here. Yeah. Yeah, this one is also. Where was this note? Yeah, that is everything's right there. That is my name. Object for sync and Facebook. Already if you got it, it's not for me. Okay, everything is fine. Just always double check. So I'm gonna add it to cart. Yes, I am ready. Promoting music with here now, only 12 months for the first year. It's actually nice to have it's weird it's nice to have a page with all your smart links I've just got a gripe that other platforms do this for free already um, so it might end up costing me I think I'm on I was on 49 now so they're gonna give me 12 rand or so I'm on 61 USD now just for this release um, and I think I'm actually gonna take it because you need smart links let me take this bonus offer Yeah, so they show you that your album is going to be 29. The UPC barcode is 20 USD. Um, in essence, now it's going to cost $49. Now, obviously, you have to make a trade off. You have to understand if you'll be able to cover this. You'll probably, $49 is not that high for my current situation. But depending on how you are making money, you have to establish if you can afford the $49. So, I'm gonna say check out. I actually tried a few codes too, but nothing worked out. Okay, and then you simply pay. I'm gonna turn this off and show you once I've paid. So once you've actually paid, um, CD Baby sends you an invoice to your email, and then they actually check it through on their system where they inspect to make sure everything's okay. Um, once that is done you can go back into your dashboard go to albums and singles and then you click on view and edit they've already assigned an ipc upc number and then they load up your project and then over here you can see you can make changes but i don't need to make changes everything is still okay yeah and then it says yeah thank you your release is now in queue for inspection um we'll be inspecting your release shortly so they're just inspecting the release if approved your title will be distributed immediately so everything is seems to be smooth sailing that concludes this video and i hope you found it informative if you did please hit the thumbs up don't forget to subscribe as i do have other videos i think you'll find informative and until next time skilligan the hooligan signing out